Farm Guy here with a new mod for Farming Simulator 22. It, this is the Komatsu PC 300 by Pepe978. <clears throat> uh, it is 15.89 uh, megabytes to download. We have two pieces. We have the unit itself, eight slots, and there is an attachment. The where did it, where did it go? Oh, there it is. It has an attachment, a just in time for the logging map, a logging attachment. Now, let's have a look at it in the store, first of all, and we will find it under miscellaneous. There it is, Komatsu PC 300, $195,000, 242 horsepower, CVT transmission, 535 liters of fuel, Eight miles per hour, and the bucket will hold 4,000 liters of all those items down there. Um, basically, anything that falls on the ground or can fall on the ground, <clears throat> you'll be able to pick up with this. We have a choice of Komatsu Forest or Excavator, and as far as I can tell, the only difference is the color of the uh, name, the decals. Yeah. Right, so no charge for that. <clears throat> so first we're going to go, whoops, here it is. We're gonna hop in. Uh, oh, you wanna know where the uh, forestry uh, attachment is, don't you? I'm sure you do, you're just salivating at it. It's not there, hold on. Right oh, now it's under tools and miscellaneous. Uh, oddly enough, why it's here and not under forestry, Anyways, here it is, the C11, uh, C114X, $8,500. I don't know why it has a, uh, I don't know why it has a, a miles per hour. Uh, 64 centimeter in diameter is the largest tree. Apparently it gives you that information. There it is, just like so. It is a uh, harvester head. Now. We are going to show you how, atta how to attach all that. But first of all, let's have a look inside. There we go, all you inside lovers of the inside of the cab. Uh, we have it running here, so forward, backward. Uh, do the sticks move? Yes, they do move when you're, yes, there we go. So just the forward and backward, there isn't any. Right, let's get back out here. <clears throat> All right, L1, right stick, left and right, swivels. So just driving, you drive it normally. With your left stick, you go forward, backward, the left stick, and you look, right? So if you want to move the uh, the head or the main body uh, up, apart from the tracks, L1, and right stick, left and right, and up and down on your right stick moves your bucket arm up and down. So let's get a little bit closer here. <clears throat> so we're up and then to the R1, right stick left and right bucket up and down. There we go. Up and down, up. So we want to go up and then back to L1 and down, 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 down. There we go. Oh, we've filled up the bucket already. So R1 and right on the stick to corral that and whoop, up L1 and up. So it's a little bit of back and forth. I suppose eventually you get used to it, <clears throat> the controls. And as we're uh, positioned ourselves in front here, R1 and left on that bucket, maybe back up a little bit. There we go, we have unloaded it and that is pretty much it for that. All right, moving on to the uh, the harvester head. Now, see, you notice it's turned on. Let's just turn it off. Let's just drop it for a second because this is what <laughs> happens. Now, so you don't you don't take off the bucket. That's the uh, that's the kind of tricky part of it. So the best way to do this is make sure your bucket is opened all the way. And that thing is moving, having a little bit of a hissy fit there. And then pulling forward, 
with that like so and moving that bucket down see that the uh, icon has popped up attach now we're going to press x and it's going to do that magical thing like so <laughs> and now <clears throat> our l1 right stick up and down is still the same r1 left so you can kind of adjust the positioning of that left and right and up and down up and down uh, on your right stick moves your arm like so and left and right tilts that so we can go ahead and uh, that was actually the the cutting head still so now let's back up here and let's attempt I've done as you can see I've chopped one tree down now if we go to the cutting head <clears throat> we have your change cut length let's make that let's how far can we go oh it looks like 12 feet 12 feet is the longest let's do four foot lengths and turn on the header and it'll open up so this is pretty basic this is about the most basic uh, tree harvester operation um, of most that I've seen that you do have your L1 and R1 and you can with your right stick swivel that but uh, with it turned on as you get closer to a tree and it kind of should suck up to it a little bit there there we go position it like so and then L1 and X tap it once there it is it's cut let's move it off to the side here whoop there we go try it there we go let's position it like that oh up 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 L1 and up and L1 and X and it will cut it to the length keep it pressed down and it will just continuously do it so keep your X button pressed down and it will just I think that's something that's been added it didn't used to do that before the update so now oh yeah you just gotta watch it gets a little rangy so um there it is um four slots for the uh the head eight slots for the machine that's the komatsu pc 300 so a nice very simple harvester if uh if that's what you're looking for um it's a nice it's very slow though you're gonna have to commute it uh, on a low load or something uh that's by pepe 978 15.89 megabytes to download thank you all for watching i'm lonely farm guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now